Today is an exciting day for us because we are launching the Bridge AI program uh, that involves 100 million pounds of investment and aims to bridge the gap between the AI developers and AI adopters. So it's through that diffusion, adoption, into things such as the construction industry, transport, agri-tech and agri-food sector, the creative industries area, and we've heard from other sectors in panels today at this launch event that are interested, excited, and are hanging on to the uh, coattails of AI adoption. What we tend to see is that there is this sort of reticence in companies and organisations to engage with AI. It might be because you don't know who to connect to, or you're interested in things like AI ethics or some fundamentals. Ultimately, we've got a programme that is really starting to bring all of these different uh, capabilities across the landscape together in one place. So no longer do you have to go wondering where to go look. So there is a huge economic opportunity through AI, but they also need to be balanced with responsible adoption, sustainable and useful end use cases, and the opportunity to really create talent pipelines and real opportunities for understanding at strategic level across multiple areas of the economy so that we can scale these technologies and have the biggest impact possible in different sectors. Bridge AI will create a thriving ecosystem by building meaningful relationships between AI adopters and developers. It is like a matchmaking service for AI, bringing together the right people to address challenges that these sectors need. There are many sources of support uh, in terms of research and innovation at the UK level, but very, very few of those actually focus on, on artificial intelligence and their deployment. And the Bridge AI program takes a national perspective with international connections in order to kind of help companies uh, make the most of these technologies, make them go further on their AI adoption journey. I think the most exciting aspect of the program uh, for Hartree is the fact that we get to interact with organisations that we're not necessarily interacting with and it's a really good vehicle to bring them into a national facility uh, to show them the art of the possible and also to make the UK the AI centre for the world. The future of the UK will depend on the new age of invention and innovation. So this is our opportunity to come together to reimagine and shape the world and the UK in such a way that it will create a legacy for the nations, for our children, for the next generations to come. So I would urge anyone who's interested in how AI could change that business, get involved, get collaborating, listen to others, and please talk to each other. <laughs>